Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Thank goodness, she actually made it. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Huh? But this is the first floor. Guess these old Kyoto buildings have all sorts of surprises. So, which way to the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? <laughs> How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. Is the Kyoto cuisine to your liking? Honestly speaking, I have little interest in the plant-based fare they have going on here. I sampled the food the souvenir shop had to offer, but I find myself unimpressed. <laughs> I tried my hand at sneaking out, but still got caught. Well, guess we ought to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. Why? Abandosu! Good evening! Is this not amazing? We are here in Kyoto. This is true Japanese aesthetic. Simple but elegant. Oh! Just look at this pagoda, my, my! How does it stand with only matchsticks? Behold, the wonders of Japan! Come on in. Anything catch your eye?
Much appreciated. Yo, what's up? Check this out. The hot spring's over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced... Are you seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not! I'm not stupid! But just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence! Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never! Nothing is impossible! And you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. What? I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up! Hey, what's up? Uh-huh. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end... I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! 
I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? <laughs> Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> you know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her, so I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. At that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Wheat! Our belly expands. The sash gets too tight. So we loosen it. Then we eat some more. We loosen the sash more. The sash falls off. We're left in the nude. You follow me? wearing a yukata i also wish to try wearing one but uh, it was tried difficile very challenging 
The string, it got tangled up and, uh, and my clothes came off. But you look fabulous. I am envious. I wanted to feel like the evil magistrate. You know, the kind who says things like, Oh, ho, 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 I am quite villainous on the tele... on the TV. Oh, hey. You already changed into your Yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem! You literally just run off! You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you! Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. That's what a real athlete does, right? It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Maybe I should go get changed, too. I saw Yukari-chan and Kirijo-senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often. Just now. I saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the vicinity together. Thanks. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. 
And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Every one of us will die someday. Right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, we just can't stand the pain of being alone? But look at everyone around us. They've chosen their partners out of a large crowd, haven't they? So it's not about loneliness. They genuinely want to be with each other, right? Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> The wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. what to eat next. So far I've had Senbei, Namayatsuhashi, more Namayatsuhashi, Senmaizuke, then more Namayatsuhashi, Senbei again, and Senbei again. Now what? What? You're making me decide? How could I lost in this state of hunger? Hmm. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And that goes for Kyoto's healthy cuisine, too. Now that's deep. Today I saw Kiyomizu. Kiyomizu was so high up. And then I saw Kinkaku. Kinkaku was so shiny. Tomorrow, I will go see Ginkaku. Ginkaku versus Ginkaku. Who will be the winner? This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, 
It seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. That's already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but I think I'm gonna miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty. Even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. What? I wasn't looking at her. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. I don't really care much for temples, but I still had a lot of fun. Let's hang out after we get back. Senpai seems to be feeling better. Sup? Want to check out the outdoor hot spring? Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others. No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know, that it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh, shit. Wow, you're right. It 
it's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky look! Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. The shadows? No, there's no one here. See? You have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and Agus are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Guess it's now or never! You idiots! I told you not to be careless! What? Oh, so this is our ghost's true identity. What? A ghost? What? Uh, uh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Wait! This is just a misunderstanding! S Silence! Consider yourselves executed! It was nice knowing you. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Well, I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> you weren't kidding about the whole execution thing. Just try to forget about it. Crap, here they come. <sighs> Not 
a word, huh? Look out! It's Mitsuru! Brace yourselves! Not even a dirty look. Oh, welcome back. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Excellent. Chill vibes. The night time I love. The sun on one. Any time surprise. Yeah, I'm down. Sit back, relax to the sound that goes around and round and round and round. Jeez. Hey, hey, hey. Feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expires. But we will chill today. Let me ride the world tomorrow. Yeah. That's wrong. Like Koromaru is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge, then I'd doze off for a while. But it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days.